Hi, this is my hair so bare. Ah. Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Is it Day 6 already? It is! It's Vlogmas Day 6. So for today's video, um, it's like 9 o'clock at night and I haven't made it yet. I've decided on the on my shelf tag or just video. I don't know. I feel like this used to be a tag and I see lots of people doing it. You just like get a random number generator and plug in the right numbers for your shelves and then you just talk about the book that it picked. I have like a little shelf and a bigger shelf and then a tall shelf in the corner that's really narrow. I'm working on a different shelving arrangement actually that might be coming um, sometime this month. I'm just going to generate a number Pressing generate, seven and three. So seven and three. Hmm. Oh, that's seven. Oh no, that's the shelf that I have double stacked. So I'm gonna have to dig to the back. Great way to start off this video with uh, one of my least favorite books. I forgot I even still own this book, but I do like to keep books that I don't like just because it adds character to your shelf when you when you have like stories behind books and they don't all um, they're not all books that you love. So I have your Scarlet by A.C. Gogan. Um, I read this book, I think last year, and I had such high hopes for this book. I, it's a Robin Hood retelling. It was awful. I hate saying horrible things about books, but I really didn't like this book. The characters were awful. It was this horrible love triangle. Everything about it was just terrible, and I was so sad because I was so excited for a Robin Hood retelling. Like, Robin Hood, I'm, I'm there. But this, no, no. I do know people who like it, so I mean, I'm not saying don't read it. This is just my personal opinion. Um, I never advise people not to read a book if they really want to because this is all my opinion. We are generating, we are generating number six. Okay, shelf number six and book number 20. For the second book, I have The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan. I read this one in House of Hades back to back. So, I don't remember too much, but I love Rick Riordan. These books are so, so wonderful. They're so chunky and wonderful. And I'm really excited for Magnus Chase, which I still haven't bought because I forgot to buy it twice. Fun story, this is a spin-off of the Percy Jackson series. And actually, my little cousin, who is eight, um, likes reading. And so I'm trying to, like, really, like, um, keep that... Uh, love of reading in him as he grows up because not many people in my family love reading like I do and uh, he does and um, So he's getting towards the age and he said he saw Percy Jackson books um, In store and he was excited about it Although he didn't want to read them because he already saw the movies and I had a whole long talk about how you've got to read the books buddy So um, I'm not sure if eight is the exactly right age, but he is he's getting really good at reading for his age He's very advanced and uh, very soon I will be having him read Percy Jackson. Just fun story there. Of course, this is not the Percy Jackson series, The Heroes of Olympus, but I love this series too. Obviously, it's wonderful. We have shelf number six again. Book number 14. What do you know? I was just talking about it, and it's the Percy Jackson series. The Earth Garden. This is, of course, The Sea of Monsters. This Holding this book brings back so many memories. Like, you can see where I... I believe I sat on this, it was in the car and I was reading it, I believe I, I accidentally sat on it where it's creased. I will just say this is my least favorite book in the Percy Jackson series. Um, I don't know, I just felt like it was a little bit of a filler book, there wasn't a lot that happened and I just didn't love it. I remember, I read this when I was like 12, to be fair, but I haven't read it since. But I do remember that this is my least favorite in the series. Uh, that being said, of course I still loved it. Plus this cover is so brilliant. I just love all of the Rick Riordan covers. Shelf number four. Right, 20. Shelf number four is this top one, which is a mess right now because I have lots of books on it. Shelf number four, book 20, I got Into the Still Blue by Veronica Rossi. I absolutely love this book. I love this series. I just can't wait for Veronica Rossi to come out with another book. I know she ha has one in the works right now. I think it's coming out next year. I thought this book was an amazing conclusion. And if you haven't read this trilogy yet, you have to. It's such a unique and amazing dystopian trilogy. And she's just such a talented writer. Like, her writing is flawless. Arya and Perry have this amazing relationship that is not annoying. Neither of them are, are like annoying. You know how you just find things annoying with characters? I never found anything annoying with them. They're wonderful. They're such a great couple but like the whole series isn't like their dramatic relationship. There's so much else going on. It's great. Roar is a great character. It's just, it's great. I love it. It's one of my favorite trilogies. I'm gonna do one more. Shelf number 10. 
book number one. I'm quite surprised actually that all of these books so far that I've gotten in this video are books that I've read because I do own a ton of books that I haven't read. I thought this whole video would just be me saying, haven't read it yet, but it turns out I have read all of these. This is the first book that I haven't read yet and this is Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler and art by Myra Kelman. Still haven't read it though and I really should because it won't take long to get through because it does have just a lot of art in it. I believe it's like a story told uh, about why this couple broke up through like pictures and like little passages and everything and it just seems like I've heard lots of great things and it's so pretty like look at the cover look at the cover without the jacket it is beautiful this actually helps me to like get books out and be like I should read that because I have this problem called excessive book buying talk about these books with me I will see you tomorrow with vlogmas tomorrow will be one week doing vlogmas if I can make it to one week I'm gonna be so proud of myself I swear tonight there were so many times I didn't want to make a video and I'm really happy that I have actually I don't want to vlog my everyday just like follow me around with a camera because my days are all the same get up go to work and then this nighttime stuff that's like it right now thank you for watching and uh, I will see you tomorrow obviously with another vlogmas video let me know if you're doing vlogmas bye I'm like squeaking. Bye!